Joining us now for sports is Britt Prendergast. Britt, the Ooks women's hockey team is off to a soaring start. They are, Bailey. However, they did have a very close game here at Nate against the Red Deer Queens last weekend. The Nate Ooks women's hockey team is yet again sitting at the top of their division with 13 points. First period action. Cassie Nicholson dishes to Laura Ashley Graff, who takes the shot with Laura Salmons on the doorstep for the attempted rebound. On to the second, Graff tries to poke this one in, but is denied, and the Ooks get a little physical here. Before the third period, Sherry Bowles gets a quick pep talk. Into the third now, Suze Vanderline looks to have a breakaway, but Ooks' Carly Reeves pokes that puck away. Brianna Fresca with the nice little dangle here gets tangled up and can't get the shot off. A penalty would be called, however, this one needed overtime. Fresca again with a couple of pretty dangles and this time makes no mistake. Bang! The Ooks take this one just 34 seconds into overtime. I think that we really came back from our performance last night. We struggled uh, at our game yesterday, so as a team we knew we needed to improve and we needed to be better and follow our game. Athletes usually do whatever it takes to get themselves better. In this case, Ramondo Jean has put all of his trust in his adoptive family and left the beautiful Bahamas behind for snowy cold Edmonton. Ramondo has one goal in mind and is set on making it happen. And I want, and I want to run for Canada for the Olympics. His family hopes to see this happen now that he has joined the Edmonton Columbians track team. My sister and her husband, uh, Shelley and Ben Cavanaugh, met Ramondo in Freeport, Bahamas, Grand Bahama Island, uh, about nine years ago, and uh, recognized his ability in track. Um, an outstanding athlete with outstanding potential. Ramondo is currently training with this very successful club four or five times a week, working on his times for the 400 and 800 meter. Coach David Lee Pong will be behind him, pushing him along the way. For him to learn how to, to do his event well, to, ex to learn how to execute his event properly, to, and of course to get him fit enough to compete at a higher level. You know, he's, he, um, he's a pretty, pretty good athlete, pretty decent athlete, you know, but um, we need to make some adjustments and things and hopefully we can achieve those goals together. I plan to be here for a long time. So. Yeah. Continue to support all of his efforts in track and so on and so forth. So we're just very pleased for him that he's found this track family. Hopefully you will see this face one day running at the Olympic Games wearing red and white. The Edmonton Rush kicked off their training camp this past weekend in Leduc. This season's focus is simple, to win the NLL championship. Players like Tyler Condren, who is back after being away for two seasons, are pumped to get it started. Feels pretty good, I mean, after uh, two seasons off. Feel a little old, like the older guy, but it uh, feels nice to be back and, and playing lacrosse again in, uh, in Edmonton. The rush training camp will continue through the month of December, and the season starts away January 3rd in Buffalo against the Bandits. For this week's end zone challenge, I wanted to try something that I knew for a fact I would never get in the ocean to do. So, surf's up at the water park in West Edmonton Mall. I want you guys to always be aware of what's going on towards the back of the pool. You never ever want to get caught by surprise by a wave, okay? A wave coming at you, potentially has a board on it, potentially has a rider. At first we were told to ride the wave and get a feel for our board. Easy enough. A nice quick lesson, and now it was time for the real deal. The first couple times, I only really felt comfortable jumping to my knees, or striking a pose. The number of wipeouts is unknown, and I also got beat up by the waves. Oh, that's how it's supposed to look. 
a little GoPro action to catch my one decent ride. It was actually so tiring. And my final attempt. So how do you guys think I did? You did pretty good. <laughs> a little bit of a rocky start, but you got Near the there. end there, yeah. you know, I saw the, the soul, the soul surfer in you out there, <laughs> so that was good. Perfect, okay, well thank you. Britt, to be honest, that looks very hard. What made you want to do it? Well, to be honest, I was guaranteed to not be eaten by a shark, so. For that exact reason, I might have to try it myself. Yeah. Thanks, Britt. <laughs>